Alrighty, hi. I keep trying this over. Something always tends to not be quite right. But PJ and Mr. Binks are getting along just fine now, chasing each other all over the house, which is awesome. So now PJ's not hiding. Yeah, I have a mess. There, there you go. That bag right there. That's how I'm moving out. Because I can't carry a lot. I can't carry heavy stuff. Even those can be heavy depending on what I put on them. So it's been a very, very slow, tedious. I've been here. I have to look it up because it's probably been two and a half. Oh, man, I got to look it up. At least two and a half years that I've been here if not longer. And I have I'm surprised how much stuff I've accumulated just here because it goes upstairs and whatever. And then I got this room, which I was able to probably store more stuff in here. So little by little, it's going out and I'm taking it over to my aunt's house, which is already a hoarding situation. So that's fun. So I'm going to really have my hands full there. I don't know if I'll ever really get organized, situated, settled, whatever. Uh, I don't know. Just been a busy, crazy time this time of year. Like I have said a million times, I don't celebrate the holidays. However, it seems like the family is in need of of help more during that time of year whether it is to you know pet watch sit you know I was watching my son's cats and you know helping my daughter with errands and just different stuff like that and tomorrow we're picking up um, my son up at the airport and I'm sure he's gonna be exhausted he had a seven hour layover in LA and coming from New Zealand there's a 20 hour difference. So I think he loses a day coming back. So I, he's going to be exhausted. So I'm sure he's going to need some time to probably just sleep. So, and I was at the vets for a little bit today and just a lot, a lot going on, a lot going on. However, the reason that I'm doing this video, this is going to be really different because I would really like some clarity on this. I got an article and I'm going to read it. I don't know that I'm going to read the whole thing today. I might have to do this in a couple different uh, videos. And if anybody responds, I would love, like I said, to talk about it some more. This is not going to be my normal type of channel, but like I have said, I'm reading a book by Todd Bennett. I also get emails from him. I'll post his link below. And it was interesting because this is current times. And, uh, he says, Shalom all. Last week I expanded on the Israel dilemma and highlighted the fact that the prophesied return in Ezekiel 36 was focused on the house of Israel, not the house of Judah, a group of Zionists or the Jewish state. Much of the confusion exists because of the semantics and the mystique surrounding the definition of the term Jew. The misunderstanding was perpetrated when President Trump declared Jerusalem to be the capital of the Jewish state of Israel, and it was further amplified this week as President Trump signed an executive order regarding campus anti-Semitism that promoted the expand, expanded, promoted and expanded the scope of the term Jew. While the executive order was focused on withholding funding for certain schools, the definitions used in the order are what concerned me the most. I also found the signing ceremony to be disturbing 
as the president was flanked by powerful Zionists, including his Jewish daughter and son-in-law, who pray at the grave of Chabad, and I can't pronounce this name, but I thought this was very interesting. I'll put it up here. Um, it looks like Lubavitcher, Rabbi Medicham. Okay, I will put it up here. I can't pronounce the name. But anyway, it's a, he's a man who is thought by some in Judaism to be the Messiah. Interesting. I didn't know this, and, and I'm just finding this very interesting because I know that I hear a lot about Zionists, and I hear a lot about different um, gods and religions and, and different, um, I can't think of the name right now. But anyway, to his left was a large nine-branch Hanukkah, which is a perversion of the seven-branch menorah that I knew, designed for some tabernacle and the temple. President Trump is highly influenced by Zionist and Chabad Jewry, Jewry, and anyone interested in the orchestration of end time events, including the construction of another temple in Jerusalem, should take special note of his actions. I'm going to stop there. I, I will, because this is already going long, but if anybody has any knowledge of this, I would really like to hear your take on it. And I will post, I'm trying to think of how I can um, try to post this article somehow in this video. I'm not sure quite how to do that. It's rather long. Um... <laughs> that's my uncle he usually turns it really high but I, I just thought that this is interesting and I will do another video continuing this but let me know what you think or how much you know about this situation because just just another note because it said on Wednesday December 11th of 2019 2019 sorry well say um, President Trump signed an executive order entitled Combating Anti-Semitism, which provided an expanded definition of the term Jew as it relates to anti-Semitism. Now, the term anti-Semitism literally means against the Semite. So, quite literally, an anti-Semite could be anyone opposed to a person of Semitic origin or any reason whatsoever. And a Semite is a person who traces their lineage back to Shem, the son of Noah. Interesting. Again, I am sorry. I, I really am fascinated by this and I will continue because I, I really don't want these videos to be super long. But I will continue this. I just thought it was very interesting because in here, I'm not going to read it right at the moment, and I thought this was interesting too because when I did the Ancestry DNA, I found out that I was 51% Jewish. Now, they're saying, and, and he talks about it, and it's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be, but for some reason, the Jewish... Um, I, I'm not wording this correctly, but you have to base the proof, the proof of your lineage on your mother's side or through your mother. And that's not where the seed comes from. It comes from the father. So it makes no sense to prove that you're Jewish due to your mother. And it is scripturally, it is to be decided through the father. And for me, that would be the case because my father, whom I've never met, because I'm 51%, he would be 100% Jewish that my mother ultimately had an affair and 
then I came along. <laughs> I don't know if that's unfortunate or not. We can't say. But anyway, so she's not Jewish at all. I don't know. It's interesting. But this, I want to look into this some more. Again, if anybody does listen to this and you do know anything about this, I would like to expand on that. I would like some clarity. I would like to understand more. So I'm going to quit at that. Let me know what you think. Um, I really want to try to understand what's going on here. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night.